Whoa, 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 what's good, guys? It's your buddy, Sir Webslinger, a.k.a. Rather, my real name is Jeff, and I have for you today the third episode of Road to Tartan Glory. This episode uh, is going to be quite faster than the previous one, which had plenty of trouble, and I really want to apologize, and if you stuck with me after that fiasco, uh, thanks a lot, man. As this guy... You know, uh, right into a game, he's got two gold Brazilians and the rest are bronze. I don't know why you don't want to build up, you know, the majority of your squad before you start buying huge players, but obviously it's his team. He does what I, what he wants, but Fletcher does what, oh, doorbell. Fletcher does what I want by volleying it in in the 15th minute off a nice little cross from Pode, I think. Or no, maybe, no, no, it's my left, my left, uh, winger. And then again, diving header from Duncan, who, uh, is... You know, doesn't do it that often. And he goes ahead to just make quite a strike. I love diving headers. And actually, Andy Gray, in the game, commented on, on how much he really enjoys diving headers. Here, I, I totally mess up my defense. And his Luis Fabiano gets himself a, a nice strike past my keeper, who probably should have saved it, but whatever. Off the cross from my right winger, Pod into McFadden. And he's going to put it off his fucking forehead and throw it in the goal. Uh, he's got quite a nice little header value for a 77, and, and usually there wouldn't be a Webby game without a heading goal, and there you have it. 3-1 at the half. Uh, here, I uh, off the throw, and I cross it in, and again, you bring his keeper comes out, but missed times, you know, the punch or whatever, and McFadden goes ahead to give him himself a, a two goals in this game. Uh, he's been scoring quite a lot for me. He's got quite a nice left foot, as you saw in the last episode. But uh, off the free kick, he starts sliding a lot. I don't make the first shot, but Pode picks up the rebound. And, of course, he's not going to miss with nobody in the net. And uh, I get that goal there. Uh, unfortunately for me, he lobs it in, and, of course, I defend it. But what I was trying to do was lob, pass it out to my left back, and instead he just rolls it to my center back. And uh, Luis Fabiano picks up his second undeserved goal. I mean, obviously it's my fault. I didn't hold A for long enough or something, but I was pretty sad that he got a second goal. He didn't really deserve it, even though he ran around, he ran circles around my keeper after he scored it, like he was good or something. I still won five two, and a nice, nice coin, coin load there. Uh, my next opponent has a lot of silvers. It looks like he kind of bought the uh, the like convert your team to a silver squad pack uh, that's like a limited time offer or something. He has a few gold, but you know, no, not much chemistry, so when I saw him in the match, he, of course I'm going to play him. Uh, I get a corner here and send it in, and like I said, what would be a Road to Tartan Glory episode without getting a heading goal? And Anderson, my uh, center back, I think, picks himself up a little goal, and he actually scores a couple times this episode. Um, Crespo give him a high five. Yeah, actually, 1-0 at the half. And, uh, actually, that's that's how it ended. Uh, I had plenty of chances, but I kept trying to do, like, cheeky little fancy goals or, you know, get something that you could throw in a montage, but obviously I didn't. Uh, you see there, I, I put a bid in on a, a left winger from the Hearts FC from the SPL. And although I don't show me winning him, I actually do win that auction and get him. And he plays in, I think it's the last game. He's nice, he's fast, he has a good cross. I was pretty pleased that I got him for cheap, considering some of the Scottish players are actually rather expensive. This guy has a lot of bronze with a uh, Kaut up front and two uh, gold wingers, uh, which is an interesting mix. Obviously, I think he spent most of his coins on Kaut, and uh, his play really showed it. I'm really sorry, but, you know, McFadden is not going to miss. No, that's not. That's fucking Anderson. Sorry. Uh, again, uh, the Sir Webster patented corner header goal, of course. But, you know, uh, don't worry, guys. It's miss really wide right there with McFadden. And he, he's really pacey, and uh, although he's Scottish. And I don't really think of the Scots being very fast. Uh, he is, and that, so that's nice. Although I should have got the goal there. Just wanted to show you how fucking heartbreaking that was. Doing a little bit of dribbling. I pull it back out for a, a cross instead of going for the shot. And uh, take it off the chest. And like I said, McFadden's beautiful left foot. He'll take it off with a bounce and fucking send it back left side. 
and he's frustrated. A lot of people in the lower star teams like to slide a lot when they start losing, and that always worries me because I'm afraid I'll get injuries and whatnot, but he slides me out in the box, and Cowd also picks up a yellow card for sliding me in midfield uh, after I'd passed the ball. But, uh, you know, finally, my first penalty shot that I actually make in this series, although I've had two other chances, and I put it home, and he rage quits immediately afterwards. I guess it was just too much for him. That's my second rage quit of the series, feeling real good. We're only in episode three right now. 770 coins. Fucking really nice. Probably going to be able to pick up maybe a silver left wing or a right wing or something. And actually, that's the end of the episode, guys. It's really fast. I'll see you next time.